At Tower, we're on a mission to simplify insurance. So we're making our policies easier to read and understand. Complicated insurance language is out. Simple, isn't it? With New Zealand's first car, house and contents policies awarded the right mark, plain language standard. Tower. What the world does, we undo. Just always had this kind of feeling in my stomach. If I want it enough, I'll get it. And, you know, like I always say to myself, like, there's no point in chasing your dreams when you can make them a reality. This Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand event is proudly brought to you by Tower Insurance. The final session of what has been an enthralling Tower Insurance Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand National Championship. And we have got the big boys in the weightlifting world coming to the platform. The 102, 109 and 109 plus kilogram categories. Let's meet these athletes who'll round us out the weekend. Hello everyone. Uh, let's welcome the athletes for the final session of the 2019 Tower National Olympic Weightlifting Championship. Uh, 
Mr. Dan So. And our technical controller, we have a dead snap. And I am the commentator. Thank you. We've firstly looked back at everything that has happened over this weekend so far. Are you pleased with how the event's gone? Yeah, it's been on time. Uh, we've had, Fingers crossed. Yeah, we've had some great lifting and this has been fantastic. So um, just the feedback of the production and, and the environment here, the athletes have been loving it. So I'm um, really happy with how it's all gone. We've had a big crowd who's come in on this final session too. And I guess they're looking forward to seeing these men in action. We've got three weight classes. Are we going to start to see some really big numbers put out by these guys? Well, yeah, weight, weight moves weight or mass moves mass, they say. So um, this, we should see the biggest numbers come out now. We've got um, some exciting prospects lined up. Uh, guest lifter from uh, Tonga, Joe Pomaleo, and obviously the, the number one man to see today, and that's why the crowd's here is David Leite. Well, it's such a rare opportunity, isn't it, to get to see David Leite for not just the weightlifting fans, but the rest of the country, the Commonwealth champion, and he's got such a bright future. It's a, a great chance for him to perform in front of friends and family. Yeah, it's um, and, and no pressure on this competition for him, so hopefully we'll see him go big. Um, it is really hot in here today, yeah. so these these guys are going to struggle. Hopefully they get their warm-up timed well and they get ahead so they can have some um, time to come down and cool down before they get on the platform. All right, well, we'll let the guys get into their warm-up. So they've got about seven or so minutes until we see the first. We've got three weight categories, 102, 109 and 109 plus. So we will see some very big numbers put up by some very big men. Should be an exciting competition.
2009 Masters World Champion. She was a New Zealand Masters National Champion for many years, New Zealand Masters National Record Holder. She is a World Masters Record Holder. Jenny set five World Masters Records when she won the 53 kilo class at the 2009 World Masters Games in Sydney. And in 2017 won the World Champions for her third time. Jenny is an IWS category one, having adjudicated at Oceania, Commonwealth and World Junior level. She is a massive contributor to our sport. Um, she has been a massive contributor of one person in my life. I love a good surprise. And Jenny Ebert has been well and truly caught off guard here. And the Women in Weightlifting Award for the year and also being inducted into, uh, as a life member of New Zealand Olympic <laughs> Weightlifting. And she's got to get herself back together because she's actually got a job to do in this final session as well. She is one of our referees, but wonderful recognition for a great servant of the sport. Now gets her time to get composed while the guys out the back go into the final two minutes of their warm-up men's 102, 109 and 109 plus a final. But a total of 13 athletes in this competition, in this session. Five of them in the 102 kilo category or under 102 kilo category. Two of them are brothers, Sione and Tovite Tonga to the men's 109 kilo category. Just the two in that category. And then the 109 plus category also has a set of brothers as well. And that is Gisneel and Joachim Setifano. So two sets of brothers going up against each other in each of these competitions. You see big strong men preparing for their final Stages of warm up, although as Richie said, it is very, very warm, and that's something these guys are going to have to factor in, particularly with the hydration as well. It's a hot day in Auckland. I just saw a warning outside. Make sure you put your sunscreen on. We're inside, but it's not the sun that's bright. We're going to be watching some very talented athletes this afternoon. If we look first at the 102 kilo category or under 102 as the loaders start getting to work and we may be who we should be looking out for amongst this group. Well we've got a seasoned competitor in Sione Tonga from Papatoi Olympic Weightlifting and he, he's been around for a long time so he's pretty clinical. The one to watch though is plus six for athlete Rob Sultan. He has been putting up some big numbers in training so we'll hopefully see him transfer that to the competition platform this afternoon. Nice and relaxed out the back as well. Andreas Parakalskis, New Zealand representative. He is in the under 109 kilogram class. We've got a few standouts in each kind of session. We'll see Rob Sultan's got an entry weight 10 kilos exceeding his nearest rival. Andy Barakuskus a similar position and David Leite in a similar position. So our first athlete to the platform will be in the under 102 and it is Tevite Tonga with 90 kilograms on the bar to start us away, the younger of the Tonga brothers in this category. Gets away the first lift, first one on the board, a green light, good lift. 
the bar would mean a 90 kilo. So 90 kilos becomes the first attempt for the bar. We'll see a number of the Papatoi lifters in these classes. Really big club down based in Papatoi, the Colma Centre, under the guidance of Simon Kent, New Zealand High Performance Director. He's got a good staple. One of our future weightlifters cruising in on his bike to watch today. He's <laughs> doing some laps. Saying hello to a few of the ladies while he's around. This is Luan De Beer. Now, this is the over 109 kilo, 90 on the bar. Nice, tidy start there, too. Luan will be happy with that. He's training here out of Functional Strength Olympic on the North Shore. Had his last day at secondary school, Westlake Boys, on Friday. He was here first thing in the morning to help load, so I don't know how long that day lasted for him. And school over for the 18-year-old. First lifts on the board as well. So load is going to be busy in this session for sure. You've drawn the short straw if you've got loading duties for these boys, these lads. We might see what we call three slabs of beef go on later, which is hopefully three red plates. So this is Gustav Chavan, out of, also out of the Papa Tui Tui Club. 95 is score. What's been entered? This is 100 and. Two kilogram pass under 102. Second lifter to hit the platform in this category. Smile, three white lights, nice start. Heavily wrapped knees, just trying to slide that bar across those knee wraps without it getting caught and gripping on it. He did well. Tonga again. Now 95, is successful with his first attempt, the 90 kilogram weight. Really tough hold, gets the majority decision. 19-year-old, the only junior in this weight class. You'll see some pretty tough calls coming through because our referees today are being assessed by senior international referees because one of the referees is looking to move up to becoming an international referee. So we are going to be heavily scrutinised, those elbows. Here's Luan de Beer, second attempt, 95 kilograms. Lift from Luan Kabir as well. He's come out really strongly, all the competitors so far. They've had to wait till the last session of three day competition, the well, hottest part of the day. Yeah, Luan's had an amazing year. He, he is, we have an improvement ranking each year in New Zealand weightlifting as to who adds the most kilograms to their performance on the previous year, and Luan has improved a staggering amount this year. His best snatch last year was 55 kilograms. So just diligent training, turning up, he's been doing exceptionally well. Oh, he's at 95 already today, two good lifts so far. See a little bit of changing going on at the back 
you can see a change from a first start weight. Often an athlete's just trying to prove to their coach that I'm in good shape, let me let me start a little heavier. How much toing and froing is there between the coach and athlete and who gets the final say? Depends how stubborn both parties are. If, if the coach thinks they're in control and then the athlete thinks they're in control, you can often see some heated debates going out the back. You don't have a long time to argue about them. Ultimately, the athlete puts the trust in the coach to make the decision and assess how their warm-up looks. They'll practice in the weeks before. They'll have a plan in place, of what they call a run sheet. They'll warm up to their last warm-up weight and then the coach will assess on how well that moved as to what they will then move out onto the platform. Gustav Siobhan again was successful with his first attempt. 95 kilos in the snatch. This will be his second attempt, and he's got 100 kilos in front of him. Good start continues. All these men so far have been hitting their marks. Giving those plates a bit of a tighten up on that bar. There's Tavite Tonga. 100 for him, third and final attempt. You'll see the lifters chalk up a lot more now that it's quite hot, so they'll be a little bit more sweaty, and you're just going to see them make use of that chalk bin. Each lift, and that's going to bake the bar. Actually, a little bit more slippery as the comp leads on. Oh. Loses it behind him this time for Tavide Tonga, so a no lift at 100 kilograms for the youngster. So he will have to be satisfied with 95 as he completes his first snatch portion of the competition. Just see his eyes just shifting off to the side as he took that off the ground. I don't know what may have distracted him on that one, but it, I think it just put him off. Luan to bear 101. This would be a personal best for Luan, so big lift for the young man. Got it under control. Flirted with the edge of that platform, but it is a PB. How close was he to the edge? As soon as, if you're off the platform, that's a no lift. And he hit the brakes pretty hard to try and stop that from rolling forward. It was certainly a toe over the edge, but the New Zealand reverse. Good control in the end, so. Excellent from Luan. Hardest thing about that lift is the centre referee just sitting there composed with 101 kilograms running towards you. Thank you 101 kilograms of weight and 133 kilograms, followed by 133 of person. James Drayden, Strength HQ, first attempt to 105 kilograms. What a massive contingent here, Strength HQ. to stay patient. Interesting story about James. James got told that he's lifting in the 102 kilo category on Thursday. Had to put on some weight. And I weighed in this session for these athletes and he was underweight and he had to go out and drink 700 mils of water just to make body weight for this category today. So he's 96.1, and what is what was his? What's the minimum for under 102? 96. Oh, good start, Vicky Neil Sififano at the other end of the scale at the plus 109. Sorry, to, to, he had to be 96.1. 
So bang he, on it. He bang on after drinking ha half a bottle of water. It'd be nice to come and to be underweight. Bit of a tactical move to try score some points, I think. It oh. was to lift up a category. Here is possibly the busiest coach we've seen all week. Callan Helms, Otago weightlifting, has been out the back for every single session with his lifters. Now he gets a chance to compete himself. Leave to get first one on the board, 105. Good lift for Callan. He has seriously done some work this weekend. Yeah, I was talking to him at weigh-in and I just said, how's it feeling? And he's like, oh, I'm just glad I can just focus on myself. Yeah. The problem is, is when you're coaching everyone else and they're all watching him, you better get out there and get it right. Okay, final attempt for Gustav Shivan. He's had two good lifts so far in the snatch, now 105. that one <laughs> he knows it as well that gets the reward and the result three good lifts in the snatch for Kustav Shivan 105 the best as he stood up just that wry smile just at the top well, it's good to let the referees know that I think I've got this under control uh, currently loaded to 106. Good. Cullum's moving up, so it will move the bar to James Drayden, 109 kilograms. This is for strength, strength HQ, but is actually a coach down in Wellington. We have a number of weightlifters that are remotely coached by coaches around the country. Here is James Drayton, a four kilogram move up for him to 109. Yeah. Holds it well. He's another one who doesn't mess around, gets to the platform, gets to the bar, and up it goes. Really good lifting from these men. Well, slight twist. He does well to stop that bar. Continuing to twist in the momentum. A little strength in that bottom position. Did well. Here's Kiz Neil. Spano, Papatoy Olympic Weightlifting Club. 110 kilogram second attempt. The younger of the two brothers in this category. No lift for Kisniel at the second attempt at snatch. Quick chance to go back, reassess. You can see they've got their towels around them. It is hot in here. I'll just be trying to cool down between each lift, catch their breath. If they've got that two minute break, this is not ideal for our super heavy lifter. So the coaches will try to buy them as much rest as possible. A 110, it is for his Neil Sitifano. Following himself as the cursor hovers. Computer. Here it comes Kisniel again. So he had a no lift at 110 previously. Now comes out straight away to try and hit that number for the first time. He 
two just gets it together in the nick of time. The 110 good lift. Good save, had his foot right on the front of the platform. Four by four metre platform, standard regulations for weightlifting. Ideally, you just want to stay right in the middle, but you can use every inch of the platform. Callan Helms again was successful first up, and he's made a significant move up to by seven kilograms to 112. Well, and in the 109 plus kilo division. <laughs> the coach, coach knows. He knew straight away. Didn't have that under control. Listed to the right. Light little roll on that right shoulder, and that's just enough to let it come back down. Cullum following himself, just off to the side of us we have his whole team that he looked after all weekend doing the loading of the competition session. So the tactic that will be used here is they will try and slow the changing of the barbell down for their coach. Strategic loading. Let's see how slow they can take it. Oh, maybe they're not so respectful of their coach afterwards. That's a pretty quick change. Maybe they can't quite hear us say slow it down for them. Oh, it's the change of athlete. That's why they're trying to keep it pushing through. <laughs> James Drayton it is instead 114. He's had two successful attempts so far. And now aiming for one more in the snatch. Couldn't hold it though. Good fight. Almost had it. Just came forward on that right foot. Just see his heel lift off the ground. Just too much pressure on his toes. All forward. So James Drayton will have 109 as his best score in the snatch to carry through and start to think about the clean and jerk preparation for that. Get some food and some fluid on board. Coach Andrew Rogers there talking to Michael Walker, preparing him, 115. A couple of positive words and a slap on the butt, and you're out. So Michael in the under 109 kilogram class, just the two athletes in this group coming out for the first time. For Michael Walker as well. He knows it too. That was his pump. Just hit it perfectly. When you can stand up that strong, you just know it's perfectly through that balanced position. Now Joe Pomilele coming out in the plus 109 category for the first time. 115 for him. Tidy start for Joe as well. Joe just returning from the International Federation World Championships for weightlifting, representing Tonga. So good to see him turn up here and have a lift over the weekend. Now, Joachim Sitifano. I think the Tongan lads will be absolutely thrilled at the moment given what happened in the Rugby league yesterday as well. And they are carrying it on. Motivation, Matema. Boom. That is a very, very powerful young man. 21 years of age. Picked that up like it was nothing. Let's 
tough for some of these men. Talking to the coach, Simon Kent, who born here or lived here a long time and thinking about maybe representing Tonga. Well, we've got a, such a large group of Pacifica lifters down, especially in the South, South Auckland region and really connected to their homeland. So it is great to see that hopefully it inspires a few back home to, to grow the sport within the islands as well. I know Samoa and Fiji have some really strong weightlifting programs in place, but Tonga also can be leveraging off these young men. They yeah, make for great competition come Commonwealth Games time too as Callan Helms strides back out. This time with 117 kilos. lift for Callan. Just, just a little bit, even on his setup, he just looks slightly twisted off to the side. And then as he pulls it through, it just kind of follows that initial twist. Just doesn't quite structurally load him. He's had a big weekend, so to, to then try and throw that sort of weight after being on your feet for the last two days, doing 12 hour days, it was a hard task. Michael Walker bar is loaded for him at 120 kilograms. He had a successful first attempt at 115. He looked really strong in his first attempt, so let's see how 120 moves. Pretty good again. No problems for Michael Walker thus far. There's something special about a chalk clap, isn't there? You just, you, it's just a sense of dominance. Both drop it down, give myself a chalk clap. Joe Pomilele, 120. Laying it down. Oh, Pomelele, physio, was actually called in to help out the Auckland Farah Palmer Cup women's rugby team in their final last weekend. They unfortunately dipped out. Fantastic role model, Joe. He just does such a lovely guy. He can be so strong and so powerful and so aggressive and then just walk off and you're just this super gentle, calm-natured man and... Uh, he's a wonderful um, contributor to weightlifting. Even though he's even representing Tonga now, he's still very much part of the Papatoi Weightlifting Club down there and, and contributing to New Zealand weightlifting, which is great. Now we're still yet to see a couple of the heavy hitters, so to speak, David Leti, Andreas Barakowskis. See the fanning. Fanning, yeah. Yep. It's hot. So can we set someone to work over here with us? Little fan in the corner. Poaching rolls, you do everything. Sucky. Looks like he's getting puffed. Yeah. So the loaders are being set to work again. 104 is the call, and this is for. See David Leete biding his time in the back. 140 on the bar in front of him, so looks like he's warming up well. Joachim Setifano 124 a 9 kilogram jump from the first which he made look very very easy <laughs> yep that'll do not bad at all Joachim is, uh, I, I believe he's been doing some work at baggage handling with Air New Zealand, so I can only imagine how quickly those planes are unloaded and off onto the runway. Make a check, get him on my flights. 
this time. Again, another gentle giant, Joachim. David Leti, top of the picture there, going through his warm up. Now it is Sioni Tonga. So this is back to the under 102 kilogram division, the elder, older brother of Savitsa, who we've just seen. So Sioni, 125 will be his first attempt. Compact, seen it. the taller guys, but he very much all a muscle. Uh, just stabilise that rock back on the heels, and you just a little shift to balance the feet. He's on the board though. That's what matters. Oh, Michael Walker has been really impressive with his first two lifts. Let's see if he can continue the form as he goes up by five further kilograms to 125. Oh, he started to lose control and started to abort. A no lift for Michael Walker in his third and final attempt, but he's got 120 on the board as his best snatch. Didn't quite get the same kind of elevation that he got on his first two lifts, so tried to sneak under it and it didn't quite sit in the right place. Joachim just looking pretty casual. Pretty in the back. chilled, isn't he? Well, that's not how you want to be finishing your warm-up for miss lift out the back. Here goes Joe Pomilelli again looking for 130. This is a jump of 10 kilos. Joe, 130, he gets three successful snatch lifts, three good attempts, 130 his best. Start to prepare for the clean and jerk in the 109 plus category. Just looking at the scoreboard, Rob Sultan had 135 kilograms down and we did get a glimpse just briefly backstage of him missing a 132 kilogram snatch. So he has dropped now to 132, so that's what I mean about getting that warm-up right. He, he's not the best start, and you haven't even walked out on the platform. It's, it'll take a little bit for him to mentally come back out now and do 132 on the platform. In the meantime, here's Sione Tonga, 131 for his second attempt. That lift, he's just brought himself into the mix with Rob, who's opening at 32, so this is certainly going to narrow the competition. Here is Rob Sultan, completely different frame as he tall. Incredibly tall lifter compared to Sione Tonga, much more compact. 132 first attempt. It'll be a relief to get that first one away. He 
He's done well. He's he, he didn't have enough time, I don't think, to do an extra warm up out the back to try and correct that. So he came out there after a missed lift out the back, and he's done well. So now he's in the competition. Had to fight hard for that, though. Another of the Christchurch athletes, the contingent down south. We're just a couple to go in these early stages. In the under 102, we've got Sione Tonga with one left remaining. Rob Sultan's got two. In the under 109, Andreas Barakowskis, yet to see him. Michael Walker is complete. And then in the 109 plus, and we're going to see him now. Russian Setefano, his third and final lift, and he is jumping another 10 kilos to 134 kilograms. Looked very powerful. This is a big jump, another 10 kilograms. Big weights. Slightly too big of a jump. <laughs> Still smiling as he strides from the platform. He had the height. Just slightly forward again. Comes back down in a hurry. You can see all of his teammates in the background just twisting the head, what we call the coach's head tilt. <laughs> We've talked about that earlier in the day. We might have used you as an example of the coach head tilt. I wanted to set a camera just purely on the you coaches. Ride, you ride the barbell with the athlete. All right, Sione Tonga looking for 135 now. He too has a no lift, 135. So 131 will be the best lift for Sione. Not out of it though, he's secured 131, he's only one kilogram behind Rob Sultan, and Rob has taken a big jump, so here's a scenario where Rob could take a significant lead, or a risk, and end back at 132, so let's see how Rob goes, 138 kilograms, second attempt. Sultan pushes hard in that jump and is successful. I think he's just warming up now. That was better than his previous lift. I think he just needed the confidence of that first lift and now he's getting to run through. Much better lift than his previous lift. Just sat perfectly on top of him. Collar to collar grip. He is a very tall lifter for this category. And now we will see for the first time in the under 109 kilogram cars class, Andres Arakoskis. Season competitor, he's been representing New Zealand for a number of years. He's actually dabbling in the bobsleigh. Yes, I was just about to say. It's not an uncommon transition. One hundred and forty. First attempt. And a good start for him as well. A little thumbs up to the crowd. I'm just trying to think. But Nigel Avery. Nigel Avery went from triple jump to bobsleigh. To Two Olympic. weight. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he went the other way. I couldn't quite remember. Which is probably more inclined to be that way. Yeah. That that foot speed in the as a brakeman and pushing that bobsleigh. Weightlift is exceptionally powerful, and I think that's why Andy has been recruited <laughs> to try and push for New Zealand. Right, so Rob Sultan looking over. 
towards. Bit on the bar. 168 kilograms is a warm up. We're going to see something special today if he nails this. Oh, he's oh. in good shape. <laughs> Who's <laughs> David Leete in the warm-up? That is a huge weight for a lot, for a warm-up. He's got 150-55 on the start list, and that's not going to stay there for long, I don't think. All right, Rob Sultan, 142. Starting to get into his groove as well. He really had to work for that to bring it back. A little bit of a shift to the left, to the right. Gets the balance, stands out of it. Oh, it's a bit like being on a boat. Rocked one way, then the other, and then knew he had it. Bit of a bar slam. One of the best feelings is getting that load overhead and then just slamming that bar down. Massive re release of endorphins. So that was Rob Sultan, complete at 142. So he had three successful snatch attempts. 142, his best. Every single competitor hit their first lift. See in the background, David Leedy's doing another warm up. That's 172 kilograms in the warm up room. How special is this? We can get to watch the warm up. David Leedy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, prepare yourselves. If David Leedy's throwing that around in the warm-up. Now we're still with Andreas Korskis. He's in good form. There's great lifting from all of these men. He's He's been on his feet all weekend as well, coaching. So he's doing very well. And we can't underestimate how much, well, just the stress of coaching all weekend does to you. But then turn around and put 144 kilograms over your head at the end of it all. David got one remaining lift for Andy and then he'll be out on the platform so coach Tina will all be shortly making a change starting to prowl around yet still with a smile on his face David Leete he lifts well when he's happy like he just he enjoys it and when you see him enjoying it that's when you know something big's going to happen very easy to forget it. He's only a young man, 23 years of age. So super heavy weightlifters really only peak in their late 20s, early 30s. So if he keeps with it, obviously he's a favourite for the Oceania region to, to take the Tokyo spot as a super heavy. But another four years from that in Paris certainly could be pushing a very big total. Just so consistent as well on the platform. So hopefully we'll see some of that transfer through onto the platform. And a ball just running the clock down for Andy to give him a bit more rest. It is hot in here, as we said. Important here as a coach that you don't change anything with the athlete. You don't tell him anything new. You just repeat exactly what your routine is. You can see him go through this now, probably one, two, three, and same routine with the chalk bin, same approach. A 147 now, Andy Barakowskis. Good lift, three in a row and 147 the biggest.
Yeah. David Leedy is ready to go. Let's set the loaders off quickly. Here's Andre Barakowskis first. Bar is still calling him at 155. Are we going to see that move up? Yes, it's hovering. 175. 175. We need 175 kilos. 175 kilos introduces a third red plate. The loader's looking a little bit as to what do we put on the bar. Yes, that's another big plate that needs to go on the outside. On all the big red ones. So here is David Leete, the Commonwealth Games gold medalist from last year. His first attempt, 175, his first appearance at the Tower Insurance New Zealand Weightlifting National Champs. He's flung that up with ease. Little one Got red. One red in the middle. Little falter with the elbow, I think. That's what was seen in the middle. But it's a good lift. It took off. It really took off. Just that tiny little shift with the elbow. But it's good. His current New Zealand record stands at 180 kilograms. I think we might see 181 about to go on the bar. As I said, we'll see Tina Ball run the clock down. So they'll make a change. They'll make, she'll have three changes actually, and she'll use all of them unless he stands up and goes, I'm ready to go. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see a 179 come up on to the board. And then maybe a move to a 181. This would be in New Zealand, Commonwealth, and Oceania record. Three records in one lift. Do it all in one go if you can. And I believe the heaviest weight ever lifted by an Oceania athlete is 183. And that is held by Dean Lucan, who was an Olympic gold medalist at the Los Angeles Olympics. So if we push into that level, we may see an all-time Oceania record. That was set a, a very long time ago. It's now sitting in... Bar's going to get a little bit of a scrub as well. Making This is another, what we call a delay <laughs> tactic. This is, this is good coaching now. This is where you go, look, the bar's not that great. As I said, there is a lot of chalk on the bar. You can see it because these guys are working hard, they're sweaty, so they've been chalking up. This just, the clock stops while they do this. They have to sweep the platform, they sweep the bar. All looking for the most optimal conditions as we see. Two minutes turns into four minutes. Thank you, loaders. The loaders have done their job for now, and it looks like David is going to come out at 178. I don't see his coach There's standing beside him. Yeah, there we go. There's the change, so 181. This is New Zealand senior, Oceania senior, Commonwealth senior record. This is massive. Feel the murmurings among this, among this crowd. And so we will, because of the record attempt change. We'll see a change of judge as David Leite attempts 181 for a New Zealand Commonwealth and Oceania snatch record. Quite. He does have one lift left, and he may have another crack at it. 
one the hush and expectation falling over everyone here at Functional Strength. Everyone gathered, the phones are out. What's good is that he's pushing himself. And he needs to push himself because he's got some big competitions coming up next year and you can use these sort of events to push into new territory, which he's doing. He has never snatched 181 before. And the clock's running. He's got two minutes at this stage. I don't think we'll see any further changes, so he's going to have to be happy with a two-minute rest, which is a quick turnaround. Here's Tina Ball, Yoda and the Big Bear. Dynamic duo. Just saying stay over the bar a little bit longer. That's what I think I read. woman who has been hard at work all weekend and is bringing through so many promising, exciting young lifters, mentoring and guiding them. Ever present, ever ready. Now she's going to send her champion out again. You'll hear the crowd get right in behind him this time. For the second time, David Leete. 181. Always good when you see a s slight smile. He's up short again, so the record attempt just short for David Leete. You'll be disappointed, but that is very good to open at 175. It, it's going to build confidence for him in the next few competitions and a big training block over the summer. I think he's doing a couple of competitions towards the end of this year in the Olympic qualification, so a confidence builder for him. He does still have the clean and jerk, and if he's moving the weight that easily, clean and jerk, we might see something around 230 kilograms, so stick around for that. Well, that will be coming up shortly. We end the first phase of competition in the men's under 102, under 109, and the 109 plus kilogram categories here at the Tower Insurance Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand National Champs. At Tower, we're on a mission to simplify insurance. So we're making our policies easier to read and understand. Complicated insurance language is out. Simple, isn't it? With New Zealand's first car, house and contents policies awarded the right mark, plain language standard. Tower. What the world does, we undo.
Getting ready for the start of the clean and jerk. The final session here. What has been a wonderful weekend of weightlifting at the Tower Insurance New Zealand National Champs. The men's under 102 kilogram class. The under 109 and then the over 109. These are the strong men of the sport. Some of the competitors who finished for the weekend. Many have been competing and coaching, volunteering, helping out, making these events function. Settling in for the final session, the clean and jerk. We've seen an attempted record by the Commonwealth Games gold medalist David Leete just falling short there. That's not the way you want to start summer. Two broken. Two of them. Oh my gosh. Little mate. Is that a, maybe a bike? Yeah. Hopefully. So not too long because it's warm and time to go swimming. So the countdown clock is about to go on for Luan de Beer, who is an impressive young lifter from this club here, functional strength. Everyone gets themselves set and ready to go. The loaders have all gone for lunch and they've haven't come they've, back. They've bailed on poor Rob Jordan. <laughs> could do it all himself. Robbery. <laughs> Winning the national title earlier in the day. <laughs> now here comes the loaders, they're back. Just realised they've got short, come up short, they've, they've left, been... left Rob. Thank you, loader. All the, they come back with all the goodies from out in the front room, their D3 tape and their blue dinosaur bars, but they completely forgot that they're loading the competition. I hope they brought some back for Rob. He did the work. Oh, it was a great win too from Robert Jordan in the men's under 96 earlier. It was a heck of a battle. Has the competition begun? Yep, here's Luan. Yep. Clock's on for Luan. He's getting close to that 30-second call, and out he comes with 110 kilograms to have a look at here in his opening clean and jerk. And set them back down into position after the break. Good. Uh, Lift from Luan. Luan left it right to the last lift in the qualification period. So athletes had from January 1st to September the 30th. And this young man lifted in the last possible competition and put the last possible attempt above his head to qualify to be here today. Well, it's a long process. January 1st feels like a lifetime ago. Boys <laughs> trying to cool down in the corner. You can see Luan. It's hot. It is really hot in here today. It's the thing too because we had such a long winter and a very wet, unsettled spring and now all of a sudden it has really come out across the country today. So everyone's sort of getting used to it. Summer again. What that means for athletes is Kavite Tonga, he's striding out, ready to go for 115. Oh. Clearly he'd had a long enough break because he did not mess around. He's incorporating the technique known as the grip and rip. Sets it, pulls it off the ground. Back foot just a little bit open on that jerk. He wants to try and square that up because 
more weight is going to put too much pressure on that and he's going to struggle in the future. Ball is moving to the one. 115 is loaded. The clock is counting down. No, yeah. no movement from him though. Oh, he's jumped to 120. Gabrielle Peach is looking after Luan at the edge. He just wandered over to make a change. So at the moment, Kustab Shivan with 120 will be next. Looks like he is on his way. Good laugh, lift for Gustav. A couple of mantras there on the back. Papa Tui Tui Club. Incorporating a power clean. It makes it a lot easier on yourself when you don't have to go through that full squat. Perfectly in line with that silhouette and behind him. Gabriel Peach. Dylan. Guiding Luan, Gabrielle done an immense amount of work this weekend. She has been the event coordinator and organiser and coach and athlete. Massive kudos to Gabrielle. Here's Luan, second attempt, 120 kilograms. No lift for Luan. Just a little bit slow in that lockout, I think. So subtle, but as I said, the referees are being assessed today. You, you're going to find they're being pretty harsh on those elbows. In the warm-up area, the athletes in their various stages of their warm-up, depending on when they'll come out, looking to get that on the right time. Nice and relaxed, Tamita Tonga. Very determined look. Eyes on the barbell. Hasn't looked away since. Nice and strong and gets a majority decision from the referees. Successful at 120. Referee's just looking for little execution. Don't know what he got a red light for that one. It looked pretty good. One of the referees saw something. The bar needs to go to overhead in one continuous motion. The elbows can't unlock. They can't press. It just needs to be a super stable lockout. Laurent wants more motors if you set the bar to 121 kilos. 121 kilos. 121 has been loaded onto the bar now. That's the total that Luan de Beer has put on the table. Luan has a personal <laughs> best of 127. He's already locked in a total. And he would have to take a pretty significant jump to catch the next junior athlete, is Neil Stefano. So maybe we might see Luan. No, the clock's run past the 30 seconds, so I don't know what's happened here. I think there's been a miscommunication come through. The clock is still running down. Yep, they've missed the call. He's got 10 seconds. Here he goes. Rip and rip. Go, Luan. Done well. <laughs> Done really well. To succeed at 121. 
I don't know what happened there. Did they miss? They missed the change, or the change didn't come through in time. One something happened, but he ran out, grabbed it, pulled it off the ground with five seconds to go, and put it overhead. So well done. That's good composure. His first national championships, and he's going to come away with the medal. So well done. Total of 222 for Luan de Beer and doing it at last lift and uh, pressure circumstances. Conference meeting to try and figure out exactly what happened there, but I think it's done and can perhaps relax a little now as James Drayton prepares I think to get out. I think he was just saying uh, with the love of pie, well, I don't love a pie, but <laughs> we know everyone loves a pie. Good lift too for James Drayton. It seemed to have seen something, but it was a majority decision, and that's the I think most you'll important. Find he probably didn't settle. Yeah, he just continued his movement. So, one of the rules of weightlifting is you have to stand up and actually become motionless. And he just he was just kind of bouncing around a little bit, and I think that's what he got picked up on. 125 now for Gustav Shivan. A good first clean and jerk 120. He's got lots of green on his scorecard at the moment. Try and keep it that way. complete. So no lift for Gustav Chavan. His first miss of the competition. He's had a really consistent competition to this point. He does have one lift remaining, so he can come back and try and achieve the same weight. This heat might be playing a bit of a factor now as the competition draws into its second hour. Tavita Tonga Third and final attempt for him in the clean and jerk. We need to get 125 and finish off his competition strongly. Strong effort from the young man, but no lift. He thought as he waited anxiously to look at that screen. Let's have a look at the slow motion replay on that one. Oh, so harsh. It was so subtle. It's never a good sign when the athlete has to quickly look back at the scoreboard, though, because it's you're not that confident if you, if you don't think you've got it. He gives himself away a little bit. So now Gustav Chavan, he's got a total on the board, but this is his third and final effort. And his second go at 125 kilograms. Didn't happen for him, unfortunately. He drops the bar and will finish off with a no lift, but still 225 his total. 120, best clean and jerk, 105. Best in the snatch. Still a lot of lifting to come. See, James Drayden has withdrawn from the remainder of the competition after his first lift, so... He's got a total, he's on the board. Maybe he really did want the pie. 
to get done early. As I said earlier, he did have to drink half a litre of water simply to make the weight category to move up. So here's Callan Helms from the Otago Weightlifting Club. One successful attempt in the snatch, missed his second two, so now comes out in his first go at the clean and jerk, 130. Callan in the 109-plus category. Good tidy start for Callan Helms in the clean and jerk. Certainly looks solid overhead. No issues with that weight. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a reasonable jump from Callan for a second. has made a jump to 135 for now, which will bring Michael Walker to the platform. Michael in a different category. He's in the under 109 kilogram category. Michael Walker representing Southern Latitude Olympic weightlifting, but you'll see the scoreboard come up with the Slovakia flag because it is an international system and it's recognizing that as the SLO. That's good uh, clarification because I did see that the other day and I wondered maybe there's We've some affiliation few, there. Had some lifters from India and Pakistan this weekend. <laughs> Slovenia or well, Slovakia. The way he's not slow, Michael Walker, 135 here. Good lift. Good lift for Michael. 135 done. I'll have to check my flags to see. Yeah. Don't want to get those wrong. We also discovered too that Southern Latitude is not in fact in the South Island. Southern Latitude is in Newmarket. It's down the road. Now Kisniel Sitefano, he's got 135 at his first attempt. Yeah, clean and jerk. So all these men again putting scores on the board. Gives them a total. If they get that first one away, then they start to build. Just that, there's that hidden team, team element to this. So each lifter, when they register a total, they register points towards their team. Team can have up to 10 men collectively, men and women collectively scoring points, and there are trophies at this evening to be presented, and they are prestigious. They are bragging rights for the next 12 months. Well, the Papa Tui Tui Club is well represented in this final session too. So they for one will have some eyes on that prize. Callan Helms and his Otago weightlifting crew as Callan comes out for 137, a seven kilogram jump for Callan. No lift for Callan Helms. Judges didn't like it. A little bit soft in that overhead position. You'll see he just catches it with a slight bend in his elbow. He tried to hide it. Certainly didn't give it away. He didn't look disappointed. That's when you've got to keep a straight face. But these referees are eagle-eyed today. You 
not going to get away with that. Two of our big Tongan boys sitting down there waiting, biding their time. So Kellen Helms has asked for more weight, which means Russian Setifano will be next to go. Looks ready to do just that. He's the older of the City Funnel brothers in the plus 109 category. The Tonga brothers in the under 102. 140 now the numbers really starting to mount up. He started the snatch. Super impressively and carrying on in the clean and jerk. Good lift, 140. His little brother going to try and one up. No, he's just going to try and equal big brother. How about that for some rivalry? Who's the strongest in the household? Imagine having to feed them. Good lockout over here. Good lift now for Kisniel Setifano, 140. Certainly makes the job easy for the referees with elbows like this. It's certainly what you like to referee. You don't feel bad about giving red lights because you don't see them with lockouts like that. No doubt in that one now, Callan. Helms, his final attempt, perhaps his final act of a very busy weekend. 140, his third at the clean and jerk. get to finish this time yes he does Kellen Helms finishes with a 140 clean and jerk and a 245 total and I think he can go and put his feet up yeah that's a big weekend for him that's a huge workload across the whole weekend so many athletes up here from the Otago weightlifting club he even had remote athletes from all across the country that he helps program lifting here he's looking after them as well and then to come and lift Sunday afternoon, super hot environment. He'll be happy to put that last one away. Here we have Michael Walker getting his groove on. Certainly. Going through the final instructions with the coach, trying to relax and so shake out the shoulders a bit and get ready to take to the platform again. 142 will be his target. That's what's on the barbell in front of him. His second effort in the clean and jerk. shake of the head as the red lights come up so no lift for Michael they went early as the arms wobbled he's following himself at the moment so that means the clock will extend out to two minutes to give Michael Walker a little more time Next nearest athlete is 146. So Michael Walker there standing in the middle and his coach up at the table. So he's going to make a change, which will mean Kisniel Setifano This is 
where we see an additional plate added to the barbell. So two 25 kilogram discs and a green 10 kilo disc goes on the outside. We're just having a look backstage, but you can see on the barbell now, this is again another milestone weight in weightlifting. We always say 145 looks good on camera. Makes you look like you're a real weightlifter. Fill, fills, out, fills out the barbell. A lot of aesthetics involved oh, you've in got this it, sport. You, it's, it's all about the photos and the gram. So 145, no doubt. If Michael puts this above his head, will be the first thing that he posts on the gram. Can be quite psychological. Three plates. You see it. You really see it in front of you. He's just had a look at that barbell. Seen the plates, 145 kilograms worth of them. Took his time, We've got the composure, gets the clap of the chalk, yeah, and he is successful. Had he's had a good day. He'll be happy with that, four out of six, but 145, it didn't look that hard. A total of 265 will be for Michael Walker. Here's Neil Setefano now. 146 for him, his final lift. Oh, Asked for a big drive from the coaching team and he got it. He got the score to a good lift to finish off 146 in the clean and jerk for a 256 to total and a slap on the back for a job well done for Kesniel Setifano. Not a short man, that's a long way up. Keeping in mind he is a junior, 19 years of age. Joe Pomilele, who's been super impressive so far. We'll start out at 150. Clean and jerk. Effortless look to that. What we call a power jerk, not going into a split jerk position, which we've seen from all the other athletes, so very easy. He does have a personal best much higher than this. I think he's just getting his groove on after coming back from the World Championships. Joachim Setifano. Older brother. That was a 10 kilogram jump up. It's a majority decision. 150, a good lift. We're starting to get down to it now in the final stages, although in saying that, still yet to see four of our lifters, including those two sitting up against the wall, David Leti and Andreas Pirakowskis. You forget just how much work is being done out the back. I've just got to, just to get to the start weights, I've got to do about 10 or 12 lifts. I'll start at an empty bar and just slowly increment their way up. We're going to see one of the newcomers Sioni Tonga has asked for 160. Rob Selton also got 160. It's 
starting to amp up out the back too. Sione Tonga. Sione in the under 102 kilogram category. Had a best in the snatch of 131. This 160 kilograms. Like he had it right from the start was a challenge, so a shake of the head and stride out the back to reset and come back for another go. Just pushed himself out the backwards, out the back slightly. The head doesn't get through. You can't stabilise that overhead. Next up is Joe. Malili, but the clock's running down on him and it's not stopping and I don't know if they're paying attention. Are they paying attention? He's just had a look now and are told to get out there. So here comes Joe Pomalele. Use up a lot of that time and doesn't seem too bothered by it. Quick dust of chalk over the fingertips. Supremely confident with 160. Yeah. Reason to be confident. Just strides out with 30 seconds to go and 160, bang, done. He's enjoying himself. Often when you're just lifting 10, 20 kilos below your best, you can just just move it so much more comfortably and, and have a good time. Different end of the spectrum for Sioni Tonga, who missed his first clean and jerk at 160, now second attempt. for him. Second attempt is good. Good lift. 160. Sioni Tonga. It's such a different lift to what he did on his first. More determined. Often you need to come with that approach on your first attempt. He was just that little bit more determined through the whole process. See that angle, the vantage point that everybody's getting in, tucked in behind us, trying to find a spot. It's Jan Pacton here at Functional Strength HQ as we head towards the end of the Tower Insurance Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand National Champs. Still some work to be done for these men. Has currently moved back to Sione Tonga on 161, but I think we'll see him move up. More weight goes on to the warm up bars. 190 kilograms on David Leite's bar, 172 kilos on Andy Barakuskus. Uh, Here's Rob Sultan. First time seeing Rob Sultan in the clean and jerk. He had three greens, three good lifts in the snatch, now 162 for his first attempt. Rob in the under 102 kilo class. Work to get the finish and a good lift. So that gives him a reasonably, reasonably large lead in the men's 102 kilo class. He sits at 304 kilos on the total. Yoni Tonga back on 291 kilograms. 
that might just free up Rob Sultan to take some challenge. And he, yeah, you can see straight away he's moved to 170. So I don't think he sees a challenge with Siona, Sione for the top of the podium. So now he's just going to have a bit of fun. Challenge himself. Rob Sultan looking on course for the title in the under 102. There are a couple of other scenarios happening here as athletes are trying to qualify for the 2020 Oceania Championships and they need to hit certain totals to achieve those. So I think that's what Rob Sultan will now be searching for is a qualification total. Sione has accepted the challenge, that's for sure. Move to 170 also. Another change coming on the barbell. The blue 20 kilo discs go on. The 15 kilo discs come off. We did talk about yesterday how the colours of the Olympic plates represent the colours of the Olympic rings. Joe Pomelelli, it is striding to the platform. No, he's not. He's going to get sent back because that's not his name. Now they switch and see his name. The clock stopped. They've just withdrawn Joachim from his final attempt. So it was Joe, but they just didn't get that through in time. So it is Joe now. He's very relaxed. He's been going up 150, 160. Now looking for 170 to finish off and get a clean sweep. Good lifts. He has been super impressive, Joe Pomelele. 170, his final clean and jerk to finish with 300 and six good lifts. Impressive display. Um, Joe Pomelele. See his timing on this dip is just, just right. Just bends the bar, pops it up overhead. Almost like bending a ruler across your knee. That's what we're trying to achieve. It's a little bit of flex in the bar and some oscillation. Sione Tonga with his teammates all gathered around in the corner looking for 170 as well. This is a big lift. There, not quite. Was a good effort. Good push. Couldn't quite finish it off. It was always going to be hard. He, he twisted out of the clean. Had to do a split jerk with the eyes straight into the light. Can't have been great for the focus point. So it means Sione Tonga finishes with 291. Even help bring the barbell back onto the platform too. Sits him in second. So Rob Sultan has got the one under 102 kilo title in the bag now he just wants to add to his total as he goes for 171 and 9 kilogram jump yes. couple of cracks at it Tried once, couldn't get it, tried twice, not quite there, but still with one more attempt up his sleeve. He's got such long levers that he has to get out of this on the first attempt. I don't think he's got that reserve. So he just, he almost needs to catch and get out. He's just letting it just kill that momentum at the bottom. He needs to use the energy that the barbell gives him as it bends in that squat. It'll wrap around that, that shoulder position. He just needs to follow the rhythm of the barbell out the coach right now you'd almost be saying the words get in and get out you the long don't way down for him in the long way up you don't want to stay down there so because he's following himself Rob there's well initially two minutes now down to 90 odd seconds so we've still got to see Andreas Barakowskis come out in the under 109 and David Leite of course has got 195 first attempt. We will see them shortly. 
as Rob Sultan looks to finish off his competition. He's only had the one no lift, the one miss, and that was the previous. Good strong total. Nods his head. I think he's ready. Massive weekend here. Functional Strength Olympic coming to the end of the, the super heavy session. This guy's putting up some significant weight. Third attempt, 171 kilograms. Rob Sultan, plus 6'4 weightlifting. Almost an action replay, just got stuck there at the bottom. Couldn't power up through those legs. And so Rob Sultan finish off with a no lift. But the important part is, as he finishes off with 304 and the under 110 kilogram title is his. One, two, three. Try to use what we call a double bounce method, but not there today. He'll go away and he'll look at his program and go, let's put more squats on the program. Right, the clock's running again now as we head to our final two. And it's Andy Barakowskis, who was super impressive. He's the under 109 kilogram class New Zealand representative. And he's looking firstly for 175 here in his opening clean and jerk. Of crowd like what they see at his first lift. Crowd plays a big role in weightlifting. They sit there behind the judges. Ooh, nice. And uh, to disagree with the masses, it's a hard job. I imagine they get themselves in some hostile situations at the uh, big international competitions. V vociferous supporters. atmosphere some of those big international weightlifting competitions only two lifters remaining so Andy will take the final two lifts in succession for himself so they'll try buy as much time in and yes they are they got called can you please sweep the platform the delay tactics when you're following yourself you use every possible scenario and if that's to sweep the platform that's what you do the platform getting a sweep, the, the bar un getting a clean. The only issue here is doing this now will mean that David Leete won't be allowed to do that for his lift. So you're... Cutting someone else's you're, lunch. You are. You're, you're going to run someone out. You're, they've just cleaned the bar. They've just swept the platform. And to then ask for that in two more lifts, it's not going to happen. So for the want of giving someone else some recovery... Tina Ball's looking after both of them. She's the one making that call. We might see them try to sneak another sweep in during David's yeah. lift. I wouldn't be surprised if David opens just below 100, 225, which will make a plate change, and that might slow the comp down for him. All of these things you have to take into account in your preparation for these comps. Just adding an extra couple of kilos on there to take it to 178 for Andy. He's had a good day so far. He looks strong.
approval from the big crowd and approval from the judges, the most important part. 178 is good. Didn't look like missing. Just solid overhead, locked it in. He's pumped. Look at him. And the ball gave the coaches lean away. They all look around. He's got one more lift left, and the others packing up. David Leete, he is not far off to get into his headspace. Finding what makes your athlete tick. What works for them, what doesn't. Key to coaching. Are they having a discussion? I want 120. No, I want 122. 222, please. Get in behind it. <laughs> so the clock is on. Andy still, because he is still, yeah, as I said, following himself. A little bit more time. I'll try slow that down again for Andy. Yep, they're moving to 182 kilograms. He's already wrapped it up. He, he, he's got nothing to lose now. It's what we call a free lift. So he can challenge himself as he wishes. He is the national record holder in this class. A little way off those numbers. Moment, and he's just creeping up a couple bit more and around 183 it'll be a quick change by the loaders enough of the smelling salts uh, and now final lift what Andy Barakowskis from the crowd and the decision is his wonderful finish and Andy Barakowskis 183 six good lifts in the under 109 kilogram competition 330 the, to the total and the national title 195 kilograms being loaded on the bar everyone's more on the bar 205 kilograms being loaded now for David Leite, first attempt. And mid load, that means having a look around and count the numbers, make sure the right colours are where they should be. Good teamwork from the loaders and David out to the platform. He's ready to go at 205. And the clock has yet to start, on him, so he's got plenty of time. Now the clock is there for him. Not too much bother there as that big bar slams back to the ground and David Leete puts 205 above his head in the clean and jerk. I would say that was a power jerk, but it was almost more like a push press. It was just straight to arm's length. Watch how much he whips this barbell. Just bends it. Small step back to stabilise.
So now we'll see this number change, you would think, and time being bought and Pennon's still in the hand. Tina Ball, so it's 208 now. That will restart the clock for that, but I imagine it might stop again. I think I saw him walk off and say 215 kilos. Super stressful situation, clearly. Support crew keeping it low key. Some of them really hate having the cameras around, obviously. They say a good weightlifter is a show off. Loves the limelight, walks out, thrives off the stage. Pressure, people, eyes on, cameras up. And when they put up a big weight above their head, they respond to that. David is certainly one of those athletes that responds to pressure. And two of those competitions finished. Rob Sultan taking the under 102 kilo class. Andreas Barakowskis, the under 109. David Leite has the 109 plus all sewn up as well. Right now just wants to put some big numbers on the board. And 215 is what he's going to come out for at a second attempt at clean and jerk. On a show for those who've crowded in now. 215, no problem, up to 390 now. Just so much power under it. The jerk just gets so much height on that barbell. Like nothing. Now preparing for the final lift of the competition, final lift of the national champs. And it's in the hands of one of the stars of New Zealand weightlifting, a star continuing to rise in New Zealand sport. He knows it, we know it. David Leite in the world at his feet performing here for the local fans, the dedicated fans of the sport. Looking to see what he might try and finish off with. We're looking at world-class weights and then he just goes out the back and he's just chilling out. One more change. One more change. Just letting the athlete know I'm in control. I'll make the changes. I'll run the board. You see Tina going to the desk. Yeah, we're going to get a change of referees. So what's he going to look for here? 225. This is a Commonwealth total record, a 400 kilogram. Oh, I think this is the Commonwealth clean and jerk record. That is one good look back. Oh, let's see it over here. Who wants to get the crowd behind them too? It's 
to push the bar away. Tumbles backwards, lies flat on his back. All the energy spent out of David Leite. He's just going to take a moment to soak it up. It's been a big, long weekend. And another great competition from the champ, David Leite. Can't quite finish off with a couple of records, but a total of 390 to finish his work this weekend. Cameraman gets a fist pump. So David Leite wins the national title in the 109 kilogram plus competition. Andy Barakowskis, the under 109, and Rob Sultan, under 102. A wonderful way to finish what has been a phenomenal weekend. Richie, so many highlights, a big, big event, the biggest ever at the national champs. 80 years has been a great success. Yeah, long history and so so good to celebrate this weekend with this kind of calibre of weightlifting. I've been super proud to host, host it in Auckland this year at our facility, Functional Strength Olympic. Thanks to all of those that have been tuned in over the weekend. A big weekend will come to an end, and thanks to all the sponsors as well who have made it possible. Tower Insurance, D3, Better, Love a Pie, all the hard-working crew, the volunteers, the people who have make events like this come together. The officials, of course, as well, for the long hours they too put in, and the spectators who piled into Functional Strength HQ to watch some of the best well, the best in New Zealand weightlifting show their wares at the 2019 Tower Insurance Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand National Champs. We'll wrap it up from here at Functional Strength in Auckland's North Shore. At Tower, we're on a mission to simplify insurance. So we're making our policies easier to read and understand. Complicated insurance language is out. Simple, isn't it? With New Zealand's first car, house and contents policies awarded the right mark, plain language standard. Tower. What the world does, we undo. My main goal at the end of the day is to make it to the Olympics. But I, I try to focus on one event at a time. There's people who want it just as badly as me. I want to focus. <laughs> This Olympic Weightlifting New Zealand event is proudly brought to you by Tower Insurance.